so there's no excuse. Nighttime vibes is show is the truth. Are you ready for nighttime vibes or kick you up in France? Uncensored, totally uncensored. Are you ready? Nighttime Vibes Uncensored with Kiki Rock and friends. And tonight, like the past few weeks, we've been getting it in. And our viewers, our audience, our Spotify listeners have been asking for more. And, you know, I'm a big girl. Q's a big, we all big girls up in here. We, well, at one point, one, oh, yeah. all of us are big girl at one point in time. So I decided that we needed to have the BBW experience because most of my followers come from BBWs and and I don't want to say big beautiful men. Uh, we made up a name the other day, Naisha. B H M, B H M, big handsome man. That's the term. Oh, big I like handsome. That. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. So it's this show like is big black man. <laughs> yeah, it was it was big. Sorry. It was big. Big black men, big bearded men, all kinds of just big men, just big. Oh, damn. Okay. <laughs> this show is going to be dedicated to that. So this is the BBW experience. And we are, well, let me first introduce our my co-host. We have co-host Vanny J. Hello, Vibers. We have co-host Nasty Nylicious. What's up, y'all? We have my co-host, that girl Q. Hey, hey. We have my co-host, Lady MC. Hey. We also have Sensational Bonds, 911. 911, how can I help you? <laughs> <laughs> and tonight, tonight we have no other than my brother, my right hand, this dude right here, my Virgo brother at that. And we have Mr. Producer Extraordinaire. When you hear anything concerning Kiki Rock, know that this man is behind everything that I'm doing. Every intro that I have ever had, this man is right there. He's producing it. He's dropping his knowledge on it. He's dropping his dopeness on it, that fire. Mr. Steve Penn, Steve Penn yeah. Music. What up, what up, what up, what up? <laughs> So, I am yeah. so blessed and so honored to have this man right here with me and on my side and on my team. Thank you so much, baby. You already know. You already know. And we have tonight, being that we're talking about the BBW experience, we could not mm -hmm. do the BBW experience without Mr. Teddy Mac, the author. Oh, Hello? What up, y'all? <laughs> what up, y'all, ladies? Oh, Teddy yeah. Ted. How you doing, Teddy? Chilling, chilling, you know, enjoying y'all lovely ladies. All of y'all looking so fabulous, like I said before, you know. I feel I feel privileged. <laughs> Vanny, you had a question for Mr. Teddy Mac, the author. Yes, I did. Mm. When was the last time you experienced seven women at one time? Well, well, of course, I haven't experienced them you know, like I want to experience them all, you know, at the same time, of course. But, um, you know, to tell y'all a little quick story, just to kick it off, you know, um, I throw parties, I throw sex parties. Um, I used to have a fetish um, for seeing women have fun with BBCs. You know, that term is called Big Black Cock. So I round up some fellas, you know, some brothers. And, um, I round up the females that love BBC. You know, it was a great party, but um, the thing is about BBC, this is my first party. So, you know, uh, of course I made my money. I had a good experience, but um, those guys was truly BBC. And um, I kind of chicken out, you know. So <laughs> I, I was like, I, I, I don't know if, my buddy was like, damn, dude, these some big dudes. I, I, I couldn't function right. Like, them, them, dudes, was, them dudes was on point. And I, I just kind of sat back and just watched, like, mortified, like, oh, my God, is this really going down? 
you know, so, you know, and they had four women at once on one dude, you know, four guys on one girl, you know, but I, I think my senses couldn't connect the two like, hey, this is happening in real life. It's not you watched it on Pornhub. This is happening in real life. So my, my, my mind was just tweaking out like, oh, my God, this is really happening. But. It was lovely though. It was I, I. It was a lovely party. Everybody had fun. I wish I could have had fun, but I chicken out. It was just too much going on. Okay, yeah, so it was what? competition. I, like how much competition? Like how much more competition than what you were delivering? See me. I, I was deliver. good. I thought I was good until I seen them. <laughs> then that's when the truth came out. Like yo. Yo, <laughs> you ain't like these cats, man. I'm, I, I, and handle the truth. <laughs> yeah, I uh, my stuff, I, I'll be honest with you, my dick thought it was the shit. You know, I thought I was the shit. These dudes, man, they 9, 10 up. You know, so my my little nice eight big packets felt like it couldn't compete. That's just some real talk. So I'm seeing this and it just didn't work right. It, it just didn't function. It was like, yo, 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 Teddy, man, this is this is real shit. <laughs> I was like, Teddy. bro. I looked down, was like, bro, I know. <laughs> Teddy, Teddy, I got a question. Uh huh. What? How, who judges the size to know whether or not they would be invited to the party? Like, is there an application process? Like. Right. Is there a ruler at the door? I was talking about the screening uh, process. Right. Who does well, it? Well, it started off as a group, uh, a kick group. So um, I had a tag team female friend of mine. You know what I'm saying? She was more like the uh, friend with benefits type of thing, which she helped me throw these parties. So she was the judge of judging the guys. You know what I'm saying? And she'll bring the girls too. I just kind of ushered them in. You know, but she was the judge of the guy. So does she need a help? Huh? Does she need any help? <laughs> or two? Well, I, yeah, yeah, she she was having a, a lot of fun recruiting the guys. I was like, hey, hey, do your thing. I just didn't know how serious it was until you was there. I was there. <laughs> where's, the, where's the group at now? Um, it and when's the next party? Drama. It was a lot of drama. <laughs> A lot of it was a lot of stuff, so Damn. I had to cut the group off or whatever. You know, it was a nice experience, but um, it was it was too many. Uh, I guess some of the girls fell too much in love with some of the BB, BBC. So, oh. on the back end, so you didn't keep nobody number. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I still, uh, I, I still connect with a couple of the of, of, of the cats. One of them keep hitting me up like, when you gonna have another party, Teddy? I'm All like, right. I'm Okay, right. We yeah, do travel, right. just so you know. We travel. Oh, yeah, we travel. Okay, 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 okay. We can be judges. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that was that was some serious. Ooh. That was some serious shit. <laughs> <laughs> so, so Steve. What up? What up? What up? When have you have you ever been graced with seven women all at once? Never in my life. I never I never had that experience. Well, welcome to nighttime vibes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> hey. I, never, I never had I never had that experience, man. Um I don't even know, to be honest with you, I don't even know if I can handle that, man. I'm gonna keep it 100. <laughs> <laughs> you know, At least you're honest. Right. Yeah, I'm gonna keep it 100. I don't even know if I can handle that because of the type of person that I am. Uh, I'm really um, like I don't have to have people around me. So you know, you're talking about women. You know, it takes a lot to deal with a person one on one. Mm -hmm. Just normally on normal on normal occasions, man. So, and then like sex is a uh, is a mental thing. So. You know, I don't know, man. I don't know about if I can handle that stuff. It sounds, <laughs> it sounds, it sounds, it sounds nice, though. It sounds nice. It sounds it great. Sounds oh, nice. Yeah. yeah. So, Steve, would you have been invited to Teddy's party? Do tell. Teddy's party? Yeah, would you, you, know, would you have been allowed in Teddy's party? Oh, homeboy? Yeah. Um, I will have to really be getting, like, real lifted, man, like, 
you know, just to get in that zone, you know. No, she was talking about the size because basically, based off of his party, you had to have a certain size. <laughs> Listen, oh, Teddy, oh, oh, Teddy, you're a visual learner. I see that, Teddy. Would you, would you be this guy or would you be this guy? Oh, oh, oh. Do it again. Do it again. <laughs> oh man. Um, to invite, you, have been this so you gotta have a certain size and be invited to his party. Is that what y'all saying to me? Uh -huh. That's yeah. what he yes. said. That's what he said. I don't know what I don't know what his size was. I'm I'm listening, but it's let, look, let me let me player. refresh. Let me refresh. Let me do a little playback. Yeah. He said <laughs> that he thought his size eight was on. And yes. not shoe. Not size eight shoe. Right, not size eight shoe. But yeah. when the party happened. He was like, yo, man, I don't know if you big enough. Like, <laughs> you yeah. You coming up short, nigga. You coming up well, short. Are, are, you, are, you, are, are you talking about- I was like, I'll fuck like, you with this shit. Are you, are you talking about like, um, like long or, or what the females will say, oh, he got, he has girth. <laughs> oh. I'm, more, I'm, more of a, I'm more of a girthy guy. Oh, yeah. uh, I, mean, I, hold, I hold my own. I hold my own, but uh, I'm a girthy guy. Yeah, it Let depends. I don't know. I, I can tell you this, man. I, Twelve inches and stuff. Nah, nah. I'm not built like that. But um, I hold my own, though. <laughs> that's why you got people, that That's that's why yeah. That's why you have people like uh um. You know, like with kid experience, like you know, talking crazy <laughs> about me because they was they was mad at me. Why they was mad at me? Um, it's just because they know what time it is. You know what I mean? But but yeah, Look. I don't know. You know. <laughs> Pandas refer to like rims. They tens. I keep them clean though. <laughs> yeah, I don't really. I don't be bragging on nothing. You know what I mean? I mean you just gotta come figure it out yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just keeping it 100. So Teddy, I'm tell right, us though. a little. I'm alright. I'm alright. I'm alright. Right. You, you alright? You alright? <laughs> tell us a little bit about your book, uh, BBW. Lover. And Lover. Is it Savage Two, Savage One, Two, and Three? Yeah. So let's talk about the BBW book. Oh yeah. Um, and what was BB, the inspiration for writing that book? Um, it was um real life inspiration, um, uh, friends inspiration. You know, um, I kind of uh took real life stories and kind of put them in a pot and uh kind of fictionalized it a little bit because um you know I know a lot of brothers deal with that. You know what I'm saying? Of um, because basically the story is about a a, a, a man that's hiding the fact that he likes BBW women. And he has a, uh, what I like to call like a trophy girlfriend. She's petite, pretty, you know what I'm saying? But in his mind, that's what he feel like he got to show out to his homies and to the family and friends, this little petite, cute girl. But behind closed doors, he's really being intimate with um, tons of BBW women, all types, because, you know, he has that fetish. But of course, the book um, pretty much tells, how can I say it, what goes on in the dark shall come to light. That's what that book exposed, though. So it exposed my character, my male character, about his secret fetish, as you could say. So is any part of this book a reflection of what you've gone through? Yeah, bits of it. Yep, bits of it. Yep, yep. Um, yeah, because... Yeah, it, it's in different types of ways because a lot of us have those dark secrets and those um, fetishes, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I know in high school, I dealt with it a lot. Like, um, I, I was kind of after the more thinner girls, but low key, I was feeling, you know, BBW women, you know? You, you, you took the right path, brother. You took the right path. <laughs> right. Welcome, welcome. I'm going to say that I agree with Teddy. When I was in high school and around that time period, um, you know, I was, I was always approached. I was, like I said, I was a bigger girl. So I was always approached by tall, skinny guys, you know, with the abs and all of that. And I, and I went down that road, but it was something that, you know, it was just that pelvic pressure. Like you, 
they were more hurting me with the pelvic grind than with the girth mm. or the size yeah. of <laughs> so it was like it was no it was like so much friction and then I was something happened and I got introduced to some big dude and I was like damn this 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 is the shit right here like the <laughs> Belly and I, I would like rub on his belly all the time, like right underneath where the where the shaft and shit starts. I was like, damn, this shit, this shit put me to sleep. What the fuck? Whoa, <laughs> 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 say that. Yeah, it, it now, was. I know. It was, just, it was a good feeling. So mm -hmm. you know, and I couldn't really tell my friends that I like bigger guys because I was expected to be with the, you know, with the thug looking guy and. The abs, like I said, but it's something about a big dude. I'd be like, what the fuck? Mm -hmm. Especially if he's well manicured and, you know, the beard. You see, Teddy, the beard and shit is all shaped up right in the <laughs> and uh, You're talking about the beard. I'm looking at Teddy's titties. I'm looking at Teddy's titties. You're looking at what? Teddy's titties. I'm looking at Teddy's titties. You're talking, I'm sorry, Teddy. I'm sorry. I got a thing for men with titties. Like, I Really? So, yes. so do you like the suck on them? Mm-hmm. Yes, I do. Oh, that's, that's, that's come as close quick. as to lesbian I'm gonna get. This. Mm. That makes it come quick. Oh yeah, that make a man yeah. come quick. Oh, okay. Yep. All right. That's another and lesson I like I when the titties sit on the yeah. stomach. Oh gosh. Mm -hmm. Not when the titties sit on the stomach. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I like that. Damn. I like that. Yeah, I like that. That's my favorite. Lord, let us pray. So is it safe to say now <laughs> that you are now open? With you know, loving BBW women. Oh me! Oh yeah, I've been, I've been like that. Yeah, I've been open. I'm, I, I'm at the point of my life. I'm so real about everything. You know, I'm kind of like an open book. You know, all those um, insecurities from the 20s is just gone. You know, in my 30s, I'm like, I'm, I'm living my life. You know, you only got one life to live. Ain't no, mm -hmm. you got no time to be fronting and hiding. You know. Kind of please other people. Mm -hmm. yes. Yeah, exactly, exactly. You know, got to be real. You know, my, one of my homeboys, he's very athletic and he's skinny, but um, he said he only likes big women because he say they can take what he can give them. You know, so I'm thinking he's a we big, he's a, a big guy because he he, <laughs> he he been he been with skinny girls. He say some of them can't take it. You know, but he say bigger women can take it. You know. And, and sometimes, honestly, he told me he take it to another level. He go to BBB dub. What is BBB dub? Big big SS BBW. Yeah, I think it's the SS. It's super size big butt. Super size. Yeah, yeah. He said he likes those. He said that's how he, he say give him those. <laughs> they give him those. Like pass those chips over here, motherfucker. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. oh, oh, shit. This. You know what the you thing is, the, the misconception about being a big girl or a big person when it comes to sex is that you don't bring it. I know with me, my shit stay on on drip. So mm -hmm. and when when the, the sex act goes down. And I close my eyes, I'm a fucking size two. I be fucking like I'm a fucking size. Two. <laughs> yes. <laughs> More cushion for the push. Hey, <laughs> flexible. That way to the knees buckle. Like the knees give out, it's just lay on my back. Now, when your knees, my knees is good. I got Megan a stallion. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, I ain't shit. gonna lie. These needs go out. Let me ask this. Let me ask this. Why is there a stigma around a man wanting to be with a woman that's a BBW? What? What's the? I don't. I'm not understanding where the the um something that needs is something that you would have to hide or would feel the need to hide. Oh, yeah, I can so answer that. Yeah, I can answer that, man. Listen. A BBW, if that's what y'all call it, mm -hmm. a BBW, what did that stand for? Big, Big Beautiful Woman. That's fine, but there's a there's a there's there's a difference when you from a BBW and somebody that's obese. SSBBW. Huh? And the super size BBW. The super size BBW. Yeah. 
got you got some women that you know they could be a BBW and they still have a figure. Yeah. They just they just big, mm-hmm. you know, yeah. but they still sexy with it. You know what I'm saying? But they just big. They still got they they everything still perky. They just big. But then mm-hmm. you got some women. They just fat. <laughs> and they're just and listen, they are not let me laughing. Tell you, Stop. Let me tell you something. Non judgment. <laughs> let, let me tell you. Let me tell it's you. Uncensored. He said we just fat. Fuck. Right. Now, listen, Come on. Oh, tell, he didn't say me. we just fat. He said they right. are from right. I, mean, I don't I got, speak French. I gotta I gotta define it. Let's so let me define it. So <laughs> y'all know. You know, you you carrying a few extra pounds, that's fine. You still sexy with it. But then you got some women that totally let they self go. Yep. To where they can't even walk up the steps. <laughs> to where they can't even, to where they can't even hold their own legs up. <laughs> so where you got to cut through the fat to get to the coochie. Oh. You know, I'm saying, it's a difference. It's a difference. Yep. And then I think that just like women, men, have they limits too? Like I, I've mm-hmm. dated big women. I like big women. I ain't got no, I ain't got no issue with big women. But you need to let me know that you know you can walk up the steps, man. If you can't walk, <laughs> up, if you can't, if you can't walk up the steps, it's a problem. Yep. It's a problem, yo. If you can't hold right. your own legs up, it's a problem. If I can't bend you and fold you the way I want, it's a problem. If I'm doing, if I'm, if I'm doing that, you like, yo, this hurt. Like, now nah, I'm not hurting you. You hurting because you can't stretch your legs that far because you let yourself get that way. Oh. You carrying yourself a certain type of way. Like, I feel like if, like, I feel like most big women that are big, they still be trying to be sexy. You know what I'm saying? They still be like, they still got the sex. What you mean trying? I was gonna say, what you mean trying? <laughs> well, I didn't mean it that way. I didn't, I didn't mean it that way, but they, they're they still like, they're like, you know, I know I'm a bigger figure woman. I'm gonna still be sexy with it. You say they I, have confidence. The trying means they got yeah. confidence. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, I'm not, mm-hmm. I'm not, because I don't think big women don't have to try to be sexy. I think they are sexy. Like, oh. I love big women. You know what I'm saying? Like, I love big women, you know what I mean? And then and then more and then more more to that. It's just like, yo, how are you as a person? I don't really give a freak if you big or not. Yo, how how is how's your mental? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. what you like, man, that's gonna make me want to just suck on your voluptuous stuff. <laughs> where you know where I mean? ancestors do you say it? Uh-huh. <laughs> That's just me, man. Like, you know, I don't know. I don't know. I, I'm just saying, though, I, I don't have a problem with the woman, but I do have, like, I want a woman, at least if you're going to be big, let me see the potential in your curves and your sexiness. There are some women that's big that don't give a freak that they big. You know what I'm saying? They don't care if they big. And then they come with that attitude too, like, yo, that shit making it worse. Like, you making it worse, man. <laughs> you got a big attitude. Basically, you like big women, you got you like attitude, bro, with your big ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, come on, man. In other words, you you like you do like big women, you just have your limits on how big. I got my limits, man. You can't like just like y'all got y'all limits. Like yeah, no, nothing. Right. Every, listen, everybody's everybody has preferences, and definitely nothing yeah. wrong with that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, you ain't gonna, you know, I mean, shit, you might like a big man, but he got some, like, he got some shit with him. He got some style with him. He got some, he got some titties with him. him. He got a what stomach with him. He got his numbers He's not, he's not, not, he not, not just like, like his blood pressure. I, that's the niggas I like. Yeah, oh, <laughs> he, not, he not just like, you want, you want, he you got want some, got high cholesterol. Blood pressure, <laughs> like his, oh, his, his cholesterol, his cholesterol Wait, and in the air because his nipples in yes. the pity. Y'all talk about I cholesterol. Like <laughs> now I want to taste the blood pressure from your sweat. Right. But <laughs> wait, in the shower. Steve is right. I have, I love big men, Sorry, but I love big men that have a. They have to be tall. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I'm not. I'm, in, I'm not into big men that got big hips. Like I don't want nobody that your mama gave you your hips and shit. Yeah. yeah. I like a man type of figure, broad shoulders. Right. You know, 
stomach is good, but I don't want no stomach that's down to your knees where I got to lift your stomach all up wait, to, your, to your forehead so I can suck your dick. I don't want that. Yeah, <laughs> right. mm. There's in what you like as a big person. And mm. people have to respect that. You know, yeah. sometimes if you if you say I don't like I don't like big girls, sometimes because we went through me and my sister went through this with my son, and we were like, well, because my, my son he he knows the women in his family are thick. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what type of woman like what what pounds would you go up to? And he's like like two twenty. So everybody mm -hmm. has like their own thing that they would right. go. For. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. yo, you can't right. yeah you can't just you can't just not big people. That's right. not what it is, because you got beautiful everybody, like beautiful everybody. You and know, but and my you thing is, my thing is you have to be a clean person. Like, mm -hmm. I'm not going to suck your dick if I got to pick off. <laughs> yes. Uh, <laughs> right, right, right. right. Goddamn, yeah. mm -mm. How did I get the visuals? Yeah. How did how did clean? Clean? Right, and if, and if you're a big girl... And you know, and you and you want that pussy eat, and you gotta wash that pussy. Wash Absolutely. the pussy. <laughs> no, that and, part. But no <laughs> trout ass pussy. And, and pay that pay. motherfucker too. Now. Yeah. yeah. Oh, what you say? <laughs> Nobody wants to suck dick and smell cheese butt. Nobody's doing mm -hmm. that. That is crazy. See if your your stomach hanging over that motherfucker, so when you pee that shit, it just hitting your stomach. Yes. Oh, now we wow, going to the different wow. <laughs> wow, wow, yo, yo, wow, yo, wow. Oh, Lord, that must be. I don't, don't want to yes. suck. I don't want to I don't want to suck underneath your titties, and then I gotta clean the lint from underneath. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what was that? So you you will get your titties sucked with me. That's the least. <laughs> Nice. Oh, yeah. that's, 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 which what what do you say? Is is there a difference? Is it the same? You know, you got some this, you know, some slim that may not be that fresh, and you know, some big oh. that are, or vice versa. Like Q, I ain't never, I ain't never heard that stereotype. Yo, that big woman me. is nasty. It's, like it's, I've never it's, heard. Yeah, that. Me neither. It's there. It's there. It's, there. it's, it's there. definitely there. It's definitely there. Yeah. Well, Especially how you just said. Where, uh, oh God, sorry. Where, and I think that's where um, the insecurity with some women who are plus size or BBM. Um, where it comes from, because there's always been a stigma, even when we were growing up as kids, that um, plus size women or BDM women are, are have some type of body odor. Mm -hmm. oh. So that's why I asked the question in terms of why are men afraid to admit or to walk in their truth in terms of what they like, what they prefer? Because maybe <laughs> for a slim woman, for example, to be with a man who's what what one, one considered muscular or big or athletic or football type? Mm -hmm. It's okay for a woman, a small woman, to be with a man like that and not be looked upon or frowned upon. But when a man is maybe slim and he's with a woman that's a BBM, BB, BBW, y'all know the alphabet I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> a B, B C D. <laughs> then it's like the men are are being closet chubby chasers mm -hmm. but you know so, a lot of women is like that too they 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 some, it's some women that's chubby chasers mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying like like the, what the type of women that you may see them with a football player or somebody that looks very attractive but a lot of times they secretly chubby chasers you know what i'm saying and sometimes um they they ch they chubby chasers for sexual reasons and a lot of times they chubby chasers because they can rub on our belly and think they can get a lot of out of us Hey, hey, love them teddy bears, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah they, they'll rub our belly and be like, yeah, in, go ahead and pay that bill. I'm going to pay that bill, girl. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because they know they can manipulate a bigger yeah. guy. Hey, damn that closet shit. Hey, give me a teddy bear in public. I no, bear. I like teddy bear. <laughs> I rub a bear. I've never been with a big guy. I've always preferred the basketball bodies, the tall mm -hmm. guys. I've, I've never been with a big guy. I've never been with a big guy either. So, 
So rubbing your belly oh, can give me what I want. Uh -huh. it's, like, it's like the Buddha theory. You know how yeah. Buddha has a big right. belly, you rub on the right. belly, and then he just, okay. yeah. all his money just come out of his penis. It just like I say, what you <laughs> What you a lot of big guys, uh, a lot of big guys feel like they can't get those real slim, get slim, real pretty, pretty slim girls. Mm -hmm. So when they do get one, you know what I'm saying? They they go head over heels for her because they feel like, damn, I'm a big guy, I can't get her. So a lot of times they don't give a fuck if she manipulating him, rubbing on his belly, trying to get shit out of him. He's just happy at the fact, like, damn, I finally got me a little. A little, a little, a little side, you know, a little like little thin thing, you know what I'm saying? So it's, it's a lot of that going on to a whole lot of, that, you know. Yep. I think the re I think the reason why um there's so much people in the closet about a BBW or a BBM is because they're embarrassed. I mean, that's just what it is. I mean, I've I've always been a big girl myself since I don't know elementary, but I just think that. They, they're embarrassed. That's why it's such a thing like, okay, no, I can't be with her because she's too big or I can't be with him because he's too big, you know? So, I, I mean, that's just how I see it. Am I mm -hmm. on the Which, right path there or? Oh, yeah, yeah, most definitely. It, it, it's a lot of that going on too. Yeah, most definitely. Shar, when, yeah. when you have, well, who usually approaches you? Is it big guys that approach you? Is it skinny guys that approach you? And what's your preference? I don't have a preference. I'm equal opportunity. Um, but lately, um, lately, I just get the big guys. And I don't know what it is. Um, but they just, they're like attracted to me. But most of them, they're just like, it's just something about you. I was drawn to you. I'm like, okay, well, you know, let's do what it do. I'm, I'm okay. Cause like, um, like Steve was saying, it's not about how you look, it's what else you're bringing. So if you got the right attitude and, and you got everything that's going with that, I don't care how you look. It's about how your attitude is, how your mental is, how you treat me, how we vibe with each other. So, but honestly, like the muscular, the skinny dudes, they just feel like it's, like it's a privilege to be with them. Yeah. I don't have time for that. I'm too old for that. Like, yeah. maybe in my 20s or my 30s, but like, no. Like, my kids are grown. I'm 50. I don't have time for that. Are you what? what? You're 50? Oh, shit. Baby, don't cry. I thought you were <laughs> uh, late 20s or uh, 30s. Oh, I'm in 20s. <laughs> My ba my baby is 19 and in her second year of college. I have a 27 year old. I have four oh. kids and they range from 27 to 19. And I have a seven year old grandson. <laughs> yes. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. He's a yeah, I'm so too, just because just like Magic said, I've been, you know, plus size all my life. And one of the things that I do know is a lot of times, you know, especially with the closet chubby chaser, so to speak, a lot of times they come at you because another stereotype, big women are freaks. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. You see what well, I'm saying? I mean, I am, but. Right. <laughs> I know why I yeah. like big boys. <laughs> I keep I am, but. Look, I'm a freak. No. I'm a smaller. I'm a freak. No, not saying, not, saying that we, not saying that we not, but I'm saying not only just the freak thing, but the easy thing, you know, because, mm -hmm. okay, she's a big girl. She got a Mac and self esteem, so it's going to be easy to get her. I can get her to do whatever I want her to do type shit. You see what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I don't do that. <laughs> yeah, that's fuck boy <laughs> type of shit. Like, right. But right. I'm just saying that's. And you know, when, when at being a big boy. girl all your life, you you that's what you experience, real shit. And then when you don't, when they find out that you know, oh, okay, she ain't one of those uh, low self esteem type, and uh, you know, are oh, you fat bitch? That's the first thing I always want to come out of nigga mouth when you. you right. know. I a lot of bitches out that a lot of times, and you know. Yeah. Uh, and, and it's not. You. And it's, yeah, it's not only that. It's that big women will take care of a man. That's another stereotype. Yes. If you right. big, she gonna take care of you. Yeah. If she big, she gonna make sure you got the latest Jordans and you got that new PS5 and all. Because she got this. 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> and yeah, she can kick good. She can cook good because she got grandma arms. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. Oh, that's my daughter. <laughs> no, the that's best my daughter. Stereotype is oh. Big girls got good pussy, and that's the truth. Wet, wet. Girl, yep. you gotta say that. Those are some well, true well, stereotypes. Well. Those yeah. are some true ter- stereotypes. My shit's like Hagen dolls. <laughs> <laughs> I like her. She a little, she a little freaky freak. Listen, thank you. Well, I'm Anna. like Char. I just want, I just want one man. I don't care what he looks like. Just he can't be a short person. I don't want a short person. Oh yeah, yeah. you gotta yeah. be taller than me. Huh? You do you care. Gotta be. Not sure so what's the right. height? What's the height y'all like? What's what's the, like the 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 minimum height or minimum. the maximum height that y'all will go for? It's not it's a number over six feet. Yeah. I gotta have somebody over mm-hmm. six. Oh, she I'm, gotta have a tall. She gotta have well, tall. Well, cause we, I'm five nine, so I have to have. Mm. Yeah, I'm five three, so it doesn't matter. As long as he's just uh, I'm five, five. over my you head. Gotta, I'm who five, I'm five three? Five two. Me. Oh, I'm five two, so you oh, gotta you be at least five, five eight. Two? You're five oh, eight. Five two. Oh, five two. You gotta be at least five five eight. Just yeah, at least. Yeah. We do all the same height. Girl, you better say that. I've been saying that for years. We all the same height when we land there. Oh, yeah, we all the same height. Not really. That's not true. No. What did you say, He says that's not true. That's not true. No. Not even. We're not the same height when we lay down. Especially if you're a little, little person. Y'all just talking. Your little person put her head at the pillow. She the same height. Don't do that. Y'all talking. Don't do that. But I do you like some big legs stuff. just sitting up in the sky, though. That this is something about some legs sitting up in that mm. sky. Woo. They can be no, tall. I, I like, I like it. I'm five five, and I want to be able to I'm wear five, my five, fucking pants yeah, and look up to it. You, you say, you say we the same height when we laying down. But any of y'all ever had sex with a midget? Fuck <laughs> I don't know. Because he had pussy height. Yes. Yeah, I got laid down with him. He's right there. Keep your ass right there, little nigga. Right there, little nigga. Never had sex with a midget. Never had sex with a midget. I want to. That's actually one of my fantasies. You want to? Daddy said you. You want to? Yeah, that's a big fantasy. I I was looking at True Life today. There's some fine ass midgets up there, man. Like I've seen some fine ass midgets, man. Like yo, and they always thick. They always short and thick. Yeah, because yeah. They didn't grow up. A, lot of, a lot of people be thinking like, oh, you perverted. Oh, cause that's no. like a kid. No, it's not, motherfucker. No. I, ain't, I, ain't, I ain't perverted. You know what I'm saying? No. But there's, oh, some, there's some sexy ass midges out there, yeah. just like there's some sexy ass big girls. Okay. And I don't want to fucking discriminate. Let so, me find out, me find out little not, women. Yeah. Little women and big girls is running the world right now. Okay. <laughs> <Right. The world. laughs> <Yeah. Okay. laughs> Well, Teddy Mac, <laughs> if you don't mind, how tall are you, Teddy? Uh, I'm 5'10". I'm 5'10". Oh, yeah, yeah. See, I'm a little teddy bear. Mm. <laughs> mm. You ain't no little fucking teddy bear. Knock it off. Big girl. I was taller though. I wish I was taller. I See, that was, was my taller. thing too. I, I I used to deal with that in high school. Like, I, damn, I wish I was taller. You know, I was just real short and cocky. You know what I'm saying? I played football and stuff, but I used to want to be athletically tall because they was getting a lot of the girls or whatever, and they didn't look like they. I, I knew I was. I looked better better than a lot of the taller guys. I was. I knew I looked better than him, but because of their height. Oh, they was getting the girl. Hey, get you some sneakers with some heels in it, or some shit. Get you some. <laughs> some heels. Some heels. My arms. Hey, my arms and my my arms and shoulders is what used to say me in high school. Let me school, see that arm. Let me see that arm. Uh, see, my arms and shoulders is what saved me in high school, though. You know, um, they was more, they was always cocky, so girls do that like again. that. You know. <laughs> do that again. Do that again. <laughs> you know, you know. <laughs> Steven, how tall are you? I'm short. I'm like five two. 
Yeah, yeah right. right. Yeah, yeah, we can tell you no five two just the way you're sitting in the camera. Right. Like, I'm, I'm I'm about six one, maybe six feet, six one. Damn. Come yeah. on, Zach. See, he about to get, see, he about to get y'all moist right there. Six right. one. <laughs> you say six one. But Steve yeah. too skinny, though. He too skinny. Yeah, Steve, well, you don't look like this, do you? Well, I got a little bit bigger during quarantine. I've been quarantined. I got some quarantine wow. weight. And then I was saying, I got a little man. I got some man boobs, so. They need some sucking on, but um, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, nah, listen. But I'm working out. I'm working out, and I'm doing my thing, man. I be jump roping and doing my stuff. But um, I don't picked work up out too much now. Don't lose that. Just, yeah, just, just count a little bit. Right, it's hope for you. You gotta stop. Yeah. Let me ask you this, uh, Teddy. Working out is for suckers. <laughs> nah, man. You gotta, you gotta keep right, man. Like because. I don't know. As a man, I want to keep myself right, and um, mm -hmm. you know, because I know women like that stuff, man. I mean, oh, not all. Oh, I, and then even well, still, I don't do it because for the women. Do it for yeah. yourself. I like what? big men that go to the gym because I mm -hmm. jump up and down. Let me ask you this. Based uh, on your research and writing your book, because I saw a meme last week, it was so funny, and it was a um, transgender woman, and mm. she said she's into she's a B, she considers herself a BB, BBW, and mm. she met this guy in this BBW group, and he told her that she was too skinny, and wow. she was she was like two fifty. So what is considered based on your research in your book? Mm -hmm. What's considered BBW? Um, it was kind of going back to what he was saying earlier. It's just different levels to it. You know, my, my type of BBW is um, um, not so much of the SS BBW, but just, uh, you know, a, a big woman with curves. You know, that's my that was my old my thing. You know, I like big thighs, you know what I'm saying? You know, big titties. You know, when she walks, she got that shape, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know. That, that ass. Sometimes they can be a little sloppy ass, you know, depending on how I'm feeling. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, you fucking know, her, it sound like mac and cheese, right? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yep. yep, you know. I'm knowing. See, I have a fan of leggings, though. See, big girls in leggings. Oh, man. Oh, man. See, leggings is like 3D, though. It makes even the, the girl that don't got a body look like she got a body. Mm -hmm. Those leggings, y'all just don't know what y'all do, man. You know, oh, yeah, it makes me look like I got a butt and I ain't got one. I, I see, it, it, and it helps. And, and you know, you, you be with the dude, he be like, damn, leg is making you look like something. You know, he all <laughs> up on you. you be like, where it is? They help. So, so basically, you're looking at what, 250 pounds and up, or what are the numbers in terms of numbers? I don't really follow the numbers. I like, I just look, you know what I'm saying? Just how I look and I don't really follow the numbers. You know, I, I never really did because they can be 220 and they can look heavier or they can look lighter than that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I never follow the numbers. It's just what I see, what I like, you know? I don't Yeah. Really and Teddy, those. don't ask no woman her weight because that's when you get fucked up. I yeah, yeah, see, yeah, yeah, see, yeah, yeah, right. yeah, you know, I ain't gonna yeah. Be <laughs> yeah. I like to see, especially, you know, with the height thing, I like shorter women because well, I like to dominate, but that's another whole another story. But okay. you know, I like shorter women, so I see them short and thick. I'm like, oh shit! How tall are you, Sean? Right, Sean? Like, okay, five two. Like, He's five two. <laughs> He's rubbing them ponytails. He like five two. Who five two again? Dominant thing. I'm just saying. Raise your hand, Sean. Sean's five two. Raise your hand, little girl. Five two, <laughs> little <on>. girl. <laughs> Oh, shit. See, and you, you, you said you, like you, you you like them short because you like them what? <laughs> I, I like to dominate. Like, you like to dominate. Oh, be, you oh, so you got BDSM. He said the magic uh, word. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Oh, Shaw said, "Are you married?" Um, yeah, I am. I am. Oh, I'm sorry, actually, yeah. I'm in an open marriage though. But... Shaw oh. said she needs a man oh. and a woman. So what you said. He's an open marriage. He said open marriage. Can you yeah, define yeah. open? Did we know that? Um, Let me get my pen and paper. 
a lot of my readers, a lot of my readers, my readers, my fans don't know this, so or whatever. But I, they I, gonna I, know I, now. I, I give them exclusive. Now. I give y'all the exclusive, so they gonna get it. Okay. You know, but um, you say define an open marriage. Um, it's just uh, how can I say it? There's a lot of avenues into it, but it's just open. You know, I'm a free spirited. You know what I'm saying? So it's like we don't we don't have those traditional lockdowns, those insecurities. Mm. When you been open a, a, marriage, a you can be show. open. Mm -hmm. So kind of along the lines of polyamorous a little bit? Yeah, a little bit. A, a little bit. It's just, you know, she do her thing and I do my thing outside, but, you know, it's still rules. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's still, um, mm -hmm. you know, we have to be open it with each other. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You know. Open so and it's, honest. It's, yeah, it's being honest and communication. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? So, you know, that, that kind of explains it and uh it, 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 it to me in my opinion it helps the relationship mm. because it becomes to a it comes to a point where now she's just not my wife it's like she's a true best friend you know that i can be open with you know i ain't got a friend yeah 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 that's how it's like you know because we in this marriage it's like we a business anyway you know what i'm saying so let's just be real instead of me sneaking now or all the, the looking through my phone, all the text messages. It, it's like, it's kind of like, I, I don't have no worries, you know what I'm saying? And it it, 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 it puts spice in the relationship, to be honest mm -hmm. with you. I can mm -hmm. get deep to it because a lot of people, they judgmental about it. A lot of people is closed minded about it. And I understand, but it, it takes, it takes you being with that person. It, it, it develops, it, it wasn't like we just got together and that came out, it developed to that point, you know? Oh, okay. I, yeah, I can go on and on about it, but it, 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 who it's started deep. that conversation <laughs> to indulge into an open marriage? Was it you or was it her? And is she allowed to be open with other men and you be okay with that? Yeah, 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 yeah. It was it, it was her idea after we was about to break up, really. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> so I was shocked about it, you know. You know, but um, me doing some research, a lot of marriage counselors will tell the spouses to do that. But they'll tell the spouses to do that because it's kind of like a psych thing when when you're in an open relationship, it kind of messes with you psyche. So all the messed up stuff that men do behind closed doors, the excitement is gone because it's open now. She knows about it. So it's kind of like... The stuff you're doing behind closed doors now, it's like it's heating your mind. Like, well, shit, this ain't a sight no more. She knows about it already. The thrill is speaking. Yeah, the thrill is yeah, gone. The thrill is gone. Yeah. And guess what? Now you're worried about what she's doing. So you can't <laughs> even have those mm -hmm. time. That's so where it's a it psych is. thing. You know, so either it could be a psych thing that can make a man turn around and change his ways, or mm -hmm. it could just be something that can put spice in the relationship or just make the relationship more open where you know y'all become friends true friends where you can just open up about everything you know you ain't you ain't gonna hide nothing so right you know? every time a woman take the pussy out the house is a problem <laughs> i know i know i know I, see, I, I know everything you know what i'm saying i don't have to wonder so mm -hmm. I know. wonder wonder who oh okay. I, I think <laughs> in, in the time we are in now and people are coming to who they really are truly, the conversation, more conversation are being had that we didn't have growing up in our early 20s and 30s and early 40s. I know I'm talking about things now at 55 that I wouldn't have dared talk about at 35, 45. Right. So I, I think as we're coming into our own, there's things about each of us that we've kind of, not so much as hidden, but kind of kept dormant yeah. Um, and now that we're able to talk about it freely and openly, it's just surprising that so many people are on the same wavelength that we're on. Mm -hmm. And so many people are now talking about it. And that's what makes it, I think, where we are now in our lives as um, in the time we're in, it makes it so much better for us to be able to go into a situation knowing up front what the other person is looking for what the other person is expecting and the same thing in return from that person that you're looking to be involved with. It's like you researching to live your truth and you discovering other people 
living that truth where exactly. back in the 90s you probably feel like you're alone or you're kind of crazy like oh you know ain't nobody else doing this but us but come to find out a lot of people is you know right Mm -hmm. And I think the stigma of, of worrying about what people are thinking or what someone else would say is like, who gives a fuck? Fuck you. Mm -hmm. Exactly. It's Part. my it's my life. I can do what I want. Right. It make your blood pressure CEO lower. Life. Hmm? It make your blood pressure lower. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I be eating cheeseburgers and I can't I can't figure out why my blood pressure is still kind of low. And I'm I'm like that's cool. That's a plus. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because I'm not worried so much. You know, mm -hmm. I'm 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 kind of you when you live in your truth, you know, mm -hmm. you 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 you'll be set free, you know. Right. And you, you know, it, it, it I think it helps you even help wise. I like think that. So. Mm -hmm. it definitely does. The CEO of your own life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. That's what's basically. Yeah, yep. there you go. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So Steve, what we'd like to ask you now is we asked um Teddy, is he married? Are you Married, single, on the way out. On the way out. Polyamorous relationship. I'm divorced. I'm divorced. I'm single. Happily Bachelor. divorced. I'm happily divorced. <laughs> I made the divorce. I made the divorce happen. That part. Mm -hmm. Meaning I happy. filed, so I'm a happy bachelor, chilling. That part. Okay, good um, job. All right. So, what are you doing tomorrow? <laughs> 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 oh, oh, man. Man. Ask so, the lady of said, we travel. Uh-huh, yeah. we travel. Yeah. 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 BBC? Say it again now. I'm thinking with this this whole BBC that the first time it was done, Teddy, you know they say the first time is trial and error? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I say let's uh, get this thing on let's the road. Get it going. Let's get it going. Travel? <laughs> Uh -huh. BBC on the go. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh yeah. Put me on the committee. I'm near you. I'm with it. I want. I want. I want to uh, do more parties like that. It, it's very entertaining to watch, and mm -hmm. it's just I'm a voyage type of person, so I just like to watch and direct <laughs> and analyze and and host. And, Shaw you know, over there about to have a host. Shaw is crazy. Shaw's like yes. Yes. <laughs> Can you just put together a, a what is it a BBM party? Yeah, uh, uh, to be honest with you, it's called BBC lovers. <laughs> BBC lovers. And okay. you know, yeah. listen, listen, because small babies <laughs> matter too. Don't do that. Don't do that to the little niggas. No, um, I'm saying just BBC <laughs> man party. BBC could also stand for big beautiful coochie too. Oh, yeah, yeah, could, yeah, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yes, I never thought about that. that. Part. I never that thought about is, that. Yeah, yeah. Big, beautiful cougar. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Uh -huh. okay. I've been you running into a lot of cougars. B watch, did you, you like to watch? Do you like to be watch? Be watch, yeah. Since Teddy likes to, you like to watch, do you like to oh, be watch? Do you like for somebody to watch? Oh, be watch. Um, Oh, um, uh, uh, um, somewhat. It got to be a certain number. It can't be like a crowd of people. Then I get nervous. But like, yeah, what? Man, that's the movie. One that's or two. The, that's watching the movie. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, like one or two. You know, or by accident. Yeah, I like to watch though, but not like just a bunch of audience. Cause that's how I was at my party. It was like a lot of audience type of shit. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It was. It was just a lot of. It was just too much. <laughs> <laughs> Too There's too on. much ass everywhere, huh? Yeah, it's too much going on. This yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. me? I just, I just sat in the corner, and ate strawberries. Oh, I was... <laughs> oh my god! So where these big, um, big guys that you know, where they at? Uh, well, you know, uh, at the time, uh, when she recruited a lot of them, she'll go to like Craigslist to recruit them. Uh, I think there's another site she went to too. She was just recruiting guys. She'll vet them. Okay, what did she type in? Asking for a friend. <laughs> <laughs> How would this like? Hold on, let me get it ready. Are, are, they <laughs> are they required to get tested before? That was my question. Mm. Oh, no, oh, no, no, no. It was um, all protection. You have to have protection if you was going to play at the party. The same, this shit out there, the protection can't help, baby. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, so basically, well, you just showed up at your own risk. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we just had protection though. We ain't do the whole um testing thing or whatever. We just required everybody to be protected. 
So we just had a big old bottle, a big old, uh, what you call it, a bowl of condoms that people can take from. So, yeah, it was, it was like that. Yeah. Well, well, the traveling BBC, we're going to have some more um, requirements. <laughs> yeah. Okay. 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 <laughs> <laughs> for all you little penis men, y'all matter too. Don't do that. We, we, stick, we, do, we do stick their dicks in uh, a <laughs> small <laughs> penis. Bubbles. <laughs> all penis matters. Don't do that. I look, felt bad because she kept putting out certain, certain dudes. You know, I was like, what is certain dude? And he came into the group and you put him out. She was like, oh, he was too little. I was like, oh, I mean, he was a cool guy. <laughs> <laughs> he could have been so oh, nice. you know. Oh, she probably has a catalog. She's recruiting, right? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. She she knew what to do to recruit or whatever. I was like, okay, you know, but you know. Mm -hmm. If that catalog still exists, email us at night time by at gmail.com. Uh, <laughs> we like to examine. <laughs> I'm like uh Teddy Parties is back. <laughs> With stipulation, we're going to travel. If nighttime vibes get involved, they ass is getting tested first. I'm just saying. <laughs> I know that. Dad, we need yeah, to have an MWT you. party, too. Men with titties party. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all playing I'm games. I'm coming in there. I'm coming in <laughs> there. Seriously. <laughs> you I, gonna get the I first need to know where to get them. Where do I recruit them from? So Y'all ain't going to do that right. to a dude that, 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 that haven't never happened before. Kind of just, you know, stroke them and just Lick on. He gonna stop you at first, but then all of a sudden he gonna be like, "Hey, hold up! Oh yeah, keep doing it, keep doing it." And yeah, boom. and they don't gotta yeah. be really big. They don't really have to be really big. They just gotta have titties. Just a little like, bit perky. Yeah, a little and with titties, yeah. <laughs> you, know, you gotta be on your way to the fat boy side. You know, you can be in between. <laughs> you know, so, so not nice. you on your way. <laughs> nah, nasty, nasty, not. Do you lick underneath nasty. the titty? You lift the titty up, and then you. I do all of that, especially when you over me and they they hang down a little too. Oh, uh, <laughs> you have to hold on to them. And just, uh. <laughs> yeah. Miss Nancy. What's her name again, Miss Nancy? <laughs> Stop Miss Nancy. about that. It's Nancy now. Now nah, you can hit up. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm out here. <laughs> very interesting. Very interesting. Uh, <laughs> <Speaking> applications. <laughs> oh man! Wow. I've learned a lot. <laughs> I was gonna say I learned a lot. Today. Yes, yes, I learned, I learned a lot. A lot. Mm. Teddy, this is your time to make sure that everybody knows about your book, The BBW Lover. So let us know where we can get the book from. And what's to what do we expect to come from Teddy Mac now? Okay. Uh, well, yeah, BBW Lover. It's on Amazon, so you can uh, type in BBW Lover Amazon, or you can type in Teddy Mac, uh, Mac spelled M A C K, and you'll you'll see um, BBW Lover pop up. And my most recent book, um, Beauty and the Savage. Um, that's more of a dope boy, good girl type of story or whatever. Um, but what I have coming next is going to be very erotic. Um, I haven't told anybody the official cover yet. I mean, the official title yet, because I want to keep everybody in suspense. But right now, it's called Cold Word, Mr. Boyfriend. That's the new book that's coming out. So that'll be later this year. Mm -hmm. yeah, cold title, Mr. Boyfriend. Mr. Boyfriend? Yeah. Cold yeah. Word. Cold uh, Word, uh -huh. Mr. Boyfriend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's gonna be a whole different name for the title, but I just want to keep everybody in suspense and guessing what it's gonna be. Okay, okay, okay. That's all right. Are right. <laughs> you gonna throw Nasty Nye into the book now? Oh uh, shoot! I'm gonna have to uh, create a character inspired by her. <laughs> hey, let me, let me know. Liquor. Let me know. Yeah, There's a lot of guys they 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 afraid of that. They 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 be scared, but a lot of times they, they I ain't they never scared. Uh, they, they, they get it, they'll be they'll be like, oh, it, it's a new feeling. It's a it's a new mm -hmm. feeling, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, it's, it's Steven, do you get the story. same feeling? Do you get the same feeling, Stephen? Say it again. I didn't. Do you get this. the Do you get the same feeling of somebody sucking on your nipples? 
Um, I had that feeling before. Uh, nah, but I don't. I, I think he gets it done a little bit more than I do. And maybe, <laughs> uh, maybe, uh, maybe, uh, maybe uh, nasty guy does it more. But I didn't. I, I never had. A, I never had a woman that just be like, "Yo, let me suck your, your nipples." <laughs> That's not what I do. Don't do that. I never had one. I might enjoy it though. I ain't knocking. It sounds good. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Try it with yourself in the mirror. Just rub your fingers around your nipples a bit. Start to make something flow. And you know where it sound good. It sound like some making love shit. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. you know. You. I gotta I, mean, I ain't knocking. I ain't knocking it. You know what I mean? I just, I mean, I, I had my chest. I had my chest kiss a lot, but not sucking oh, yeah, nipples sure. like You're I amateur. was trying to suck your nipples. Wait a minute. Well, That's nice. real sensual too. Nah, you said you have a class for that? Yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> come on now. Let's okay. say you go Wait, in the bathroom. I'm giving y'all the class right now for free. You okay. go in the bathroom and then you start playing with your little chest in the mirror. Put a little water, you know, on it. <laughs> if you start to feel something flow, then it's a go. You know, it's like your titties lit. Try it, I like Steve. to see y'all ladies do that, though. I love to see y'all can just go in the mirror. Now, just... now, that's, now we're going to a whole nother tax break. <laughs> yeah. Massage it a little bit, you know, just, you know, for the heck of it. <laughs> that's a whole try it, Steve. Try it, Steve. I'm telling you, you'll thank me later. I can't suck my own nipples, so I don't no, know. No, you're going to try it and see if you like it. I'm pretty yeah. sure I might like it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm through. Hey, I told you something. See? Yeah. Oh, hey, I got a question for my man, though. Um, now that he's divorced, like, uh, what's his journey now? Like, do he want to, is he going to hop right back into a relationship or kind of oh, just, nah. kind of just man. play, kind of just. Man, I've been, I've been, I've been divorced for uh, three years, man. I sparked my mm. own divorce. I'm just getting back into me. You know, I've been, I've been, mm -hmm. I've been married, I've been married for um, um, maybe six and a half, maybe five and a half years, almost six years. So oh, I've just been focusing on me, man. Like I, I'm not the dude. I don't believe in jumping right back into a relationship. Yes. I got yeah. kids and shit, man. So I don't really be bringing women through. Yeah, you know, right. I'm happy right now, and I'm focused, and I'm focusing on some of the things that I'm trying to accomplish. So. That I'm 43 part. years old, man. I'm 43 years old, so you know, I I'm someone I love a companion. But I don't have to be necessarily around people. You know what I mean? Like, I just mm -hmm. feel like when when God put that person, that person gonna be there for me, man. So um, mm -hmm. yeah, I'm good. God may I'm put happy, this go man. around two people. Huh? God, this time may put two people in your life. You just never know. You never know, man. Because <laughs> he definitely, he definitely put Pornhub in my life. Yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> so we good. You know what I mean? We good, right. man. <laughs> <laughs> yes. God so, is yeah, having you guys on. Hey, Penley, everybody respect. know where they can find you. What's coming up next for you, my brother? Word. You know, you can find me on www.stevepanmusic.com. You can find me on IG at Steve Pan Music. You can find me on Facebook at Steve Pan. You know what I'm saying? And I'm um, working on some new music, as always. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get some more... Um, uh, music uh, and on some different podcasts and even movies and stuff like that, man. So that's what I've been focusing on, man. So you can find me on all those social media platforms. And where else we oh. can find you? We want sucky titties. Uh, <laughs> you can find me in Douglas, you can find me in Douglas Bill, GA. <laughs> Douglas Bill, Georgia. Okay. I'm in Douglas Bill, GA. <sighs> Okay, it's all about Mr. Uh, thank you so much yeah. for blessing us with your presence, young yeah. lady. Yeah, and absolutely. It was a pleasure to be around all of you all. Like you all are my tribe because y'all just is freaky and loud and out <laughs> and I am, and I just love it. I just, I love it. Let everybody know where they can find you at, Miss Shaw. Um, oh, God. I'm on Facebook, 
Um, Facebook, IG, and Snapchat. It's Moonstar. What am I? Moonstar five two six. Yeah. Moonstar five two six. Yeah. And this concludes our episode of Nighttime Vibes, Uncensored, <laughs> with Kiki Rock and friends, my girl Vanny J, my girl Nasty Nylicious, girl Q, my girl Sensational Bonds 911, my girl Lady MC, hey, Teddy Mac, the author, we appreciate you for coming. Yes. Star. Thank yeah. you again, Steve Penn. Yeah. yeah. So, but I need for y'all to stick around because guess what? We got the after show coming on. Yeah. After the party, it's the after party. After party. Yeah. Oh, 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 okay. Oh, oh. <laughs> Telling all the news, you put it out there, so there's no excuse. Nighttime Bob's is show, it's the truth. Are you ready for Nighttime Bob's with Kiki Walk and Friends? Uncensored, totally uncensored. Are you ready?